Hello and welcome back to our channel Forensic Science Public Desk India and now here we are going to learn about classification of alcoholic beverages. The term alcohol is derived from an Arabic word alcohol which means something subtle that means the body senses are being sedated with alcohol. The aliphatic alcohol forms a homologous series beginning with methanol, ethanol, propanol, isopropanol, etc. in which the carbon chain is going on increasing. Methanol is only having only one carbon, ethanol is having two carbons, propanol is having three carbons and depending upon the position of this alcoholic functional group, n-propanol and isopropanol can be seen. And we are also having aromatic alcohol also but these are not into the subject interest as of now we are discussing about the beverage of alcohols then beverage of alcohols generally has the composition of water flavor nutrients and ethanol so this the flavor and nutrients will be variating from alcoholic beverage to alcoholic beverages depending upon the classification then the beverage of alcohol is a main ingredient is ethanol the presence of ethanol makes it as alcoholic beverage otherwise we can generally say it as beverage how the effect will be seen it is important in the ugc point of view higher centers are first depressed and followed by midbrain and thalamus first midbrain and thalamus will get affected then spinal cord and finally the medulla the recovery occurs in the reverse order after uh, the alcohol concentration is kept decreasing gradually so first medulla will recover then spinal cord will recover then thalamus will recover then the midbrain will recover classification of beverages so before learning about classification of alcoholic beverages so just uh, let's classify it into two types that's uh, alcoholic and non-alcoholic and in non-alcoholic we are having stimulating kind of uh, beverages which are generally consisting uh, the alkaloids and also the caffeine which will be stimulating the body and the next is the nourishing then one which is having high amount of sugar content in them generally we can regard as the fruit juices or something like that then we can say refreshing which are having the carbonated drinks so all this will be coming into the refreshing then coming to alcoholic classification first we are having fermented so fermented is nothing but taking the sugar components and fermenting them by the bacteria the, or microbes then we'll be getting the alcohol as the byproduct so in that we can categorize uh, beer and wine beer is produced from grains wine is produced from the fruits clear then uh, from this we can also distillate so same uh, alcoholic extract what we are having for fermentation or from any other processes we can distillate it that means refine the alcohol per percentage by which we will be getting a distilled alcohol beverages like spirits, liquors, bitters. So coming to spirits, spirits are generally used for uh, beverages purposes in which we can classify it as whiskey, vodka, gin, rum, brandy, tequila. So all this can be part of the spirits. So this is the basic classification of alcoholic beverages. Types of alcoholic beverages. So we are having uh, various types of alcoholic beverages as we have classified earlier here we can see brandy which can be produced from fruit juices its uh, alcohol concentration is ranging from 40 to 50 whiskey is produced from cereal grains then uh, its alcohol percentage is 40 to 55 rum is produced from molasses and sugarcane its uh, alcohol percentage is 40 to 55 then wine it is produced from grapes and other fruits it will be having 10 to 22 percent beer cereals produced from cereals 4 to 8 percent then arak produced from paddy and or wheat will be having 50 to 60 percent so you have to understand one of the concept here beer wine both are uh, directly alcohol beverages produced from the grapes or cereals so there is no further processing these both are being further processed then we will be getting whiskey and brandy so that process is called distillation we can also see alcoholic products in other commercial preparations as well so absolute alcohol contains 99.95 percent of ethanol which generally used for laboratory purposes and a mineralized methylated spirit consists of 90 percent of ethanol 9.5 wood naphtha or methanol or 0.5 pyridine and is colored with 
pink for easy identification this uh, alcoholic spirits are generally used in uh, glassware industries wood industries and also we can see the second third one industrial methylated spirit contains 95 percent of ethanol and 5 percent methanol with no coloring agent so these two are for the commercial purposes industrial purposes and uh, there these are not meant for consumption of alcohol then next we can see surgical spirit consists of 95 percent of ethanol and 5 percent methanol with oil of wintergreen to give it uh, a sweetest flavor so these are the general commercial uh, alcoholic uh, things which are available in the market so these are not meant for drinking or consumption proof of spirit whenever we are discussing about alcoholic beverages this is uh, one of the important thing which we have to understand alcohol proof is a measure of content of ethanol in an alcoholic beverage the term was originally used in England and was equal to about 1.821 times the percentage of alcohol by volume. So why it is 1.821 it's a, a secondary thing but whenever we are seeing 80 proof or 75 proof something like that it means that the percentage of alcohol in that is decreased by half. So it is 1.8. So uh, we can also see alcohol uh, being measured and given in two types that is volume and weight. If alcohol percentage is 57.1 in volume, it will be 49.28 in weight. So 57.1 V by B it will be mentioned or 49.28% V by W it will be seen. Then the common 80 proof whiskey sold contains 40% alcohol by volume this is a generalized kind of thing and particularly in India the spirit like whiskey rum or brandy is usually 42.88% by volume and it is a 75 proof alcoholic spirit. Various types of countrymen liquors are available in India and few of those are mentioned here toddy palm wine is made from uh, sap of various species of uh, palm tree generally available in South India. Then Fenny, it is a Goan spirit made from coconut or uh, juice of cashew apple. Mahua, is a, this is a made from dried flower of Mahua. You can see the image here. Mahua is there. And uh, Arak is a distilled from coca palm or rice or sugar, jaggery. And uh, its uh, alcoholic percentage will be ranging between 40 to 50 percent. And the Tara is uh, made by fermenting so three bottles colorful bottles you are seeing these are uh, called as tarra and uh, it is uh, made from uh, fermenting the mash of uh, sugarcane juice and its pulp and then distillated so its uh, percentage will also be ranging between 40 to 50 so basically you have to understand when the alcohol is made directly from fermentation then the product will be having the percentage of alcohol between 10 percent to 25 percent then when it is distillated then its percentage will be increasing from uh, 40 to 50. Then we can see the middle image Chang this is a special of Ladakh. It can be brewed from uh, barley and millet stuffed in a barrel of uh, bamboo over which the water is poured and the uh, fermentation process will be conducted. Then last one uh, Handia it is made by fermenting uh, boiled rice mix with uh, herbs. So the starch which is extracted from rice that will can that can also be fermented uh, mixing it with the herbs. So this one is a very cheaper one and uh, these are generally uh, considered as country made liquors when uh, made in a proper manner. But all these uh, are also uh, what we say uh, these are adulterated by using various chemicals like toddy is highly adulterated a kind of uh, country made liquor which will be adulterated by chloral hydride diazepam or alprazolam kind of uh, uh, drugs and uh, the chemicals so which will be giving them more yield of this particular country made liquors and can be sold for the same prices. Illicit liquors in common we can also know this as hooch poisoning hooch poisoning means which is occurring due to illicit liquors consumption what is illicit liquor? It is an unauthorized preparation not fit for human consumption and not complying with a BIS standards nor getting any license nor getting any kind of uh, uh, central excise duties uh, and uh, it is called as denatured alcohol. So this particular alcohol are generally made for industrial use. This particular uh, alcohols will be having 
all foreign chemicals which are not meant for human consumption at all so for example i'll give you some examples of chemicals which are generally used to prepare illicit liquors like benzene methanol ethyl ether acetone acetaldehyde toluene camphor amyl alcohol cyclohexane is isopropanol croton aldehyde organophosphate etc so many chemicals are there which are generally mixed with the countrymade alcohol to get high amount of yield so we can also see benzodiazepines like uh, diazepam and uh, alprazolam also mixed with toddy to to increase its uh, amount if the person is uh, extracting toddy up to only certain extent he will be adding chloral hydrate or he will be adding any kind of uh, benzodiazepines which are cheaply available and uh, it will be made so we are not only that we are having some other techniques which are practiced in india and uh, we can see in uh, some village parts of india like natusara is one of the alcoholic beverage which is uh, made by using sugar sugar will be fermented directly and uh, then it will be distilled then will be getting the natusara so it's a very cheap manner of uh, making the alcohol beverage gudumba is one one of the kind which uh, will be utilizing ingredients like uh, urea rotten fruits or black jaggery that will be giving us a transparent uh, alcohol beverage which is having percentage of 90% methyl alcohol is most commonly used that means it will be added to all these things and uh, making it uh, more difficult so illicit liquors cases are like uh, the person who is addicted to this illicit liquors will be dying in 6 uh, months to 3 years so they will be not surviving for the more time many cases are been registered and police uh, is also taking very strict actions on this thank you for watching this video i hope you have understood the concepts related to alcohol classification and various types of alcoholic beverages and commercial preparations of alcohol so next we will be learning about the analysis of alcoholic beverages and also the toxicological analysis of alcohol thank you